Gas fitter exam cram session, video four. <clears throat> yes, um, I may have grouped these questions together for ease of studying. You know, on the test, they don't necessarily appear one particular topic and then, you know, same topic and then uh, a different topic. So uh, these are actual questions not necessary the way they appear in order on the exam. Since we're talking about test pressures, and I cannot stress enough again how important it is that you got to burn these into not just your memory, your psyche. Uh, question five, the testing pressure for gas distribution pressures over five PSI through 15, that's including 15 PSI, is 100 PSI for an hour. Didn't we say that after we got over these two comparatively smaller pressures. Now we're in the big boys club, the party's over, no more 30 minutes, one hour, and 100 PSI, okay? Um, let's see, question six. The testing pressure for gas distribution pressures over 15 PSI is two times the maximum operating pressure, but not less than 100 PSI for an hour. So. This is our standard. It's 100 PSI for an hour. Over 15, don't worry. Still, the, uh, fi uh, the 15 PSI, it applies. But if we got anything that's, uh, that changes this in one way or another, double the pressure, never less than 100 PSI. Double the pressure, never less than 100 PSI, okay? All right, and for one hour. Okay, so double the pressure, never less than 100 PSI, and we're going to stick to the one hour because we got to get to Smith and Walensky for that steak dinner we were promised in that envelope. Okay, question seven, because we're on the uh, pressure theme. For gas distribution pressures requiring test pressures over 125 PSI, over. The test pressure shall not exceed a value that produces a hoop stress greater than 50% of the minimum yield strength. That's a big sentence, a lot of words all over the place, but like I said, numerology is a valid science in your friend on this exam. You start seeing that, that reminds you of a lot of wordiness, you know that the most important thing is what were the numbers, okay? And the numbers were over 125. PSI, no more than 50% of the yield, uh, minimum yield strength, hoop strip, blah, blah, blah. 125, 50%, okay. Uh, question eight, gas meter piping shall be pressure tested as per, it's their, it's their piping. They want it so bad, they're saying that it's none of our damn business, good. Then you know what, the utility can decide how it's gonna be uh, it's going to be tested. That's their issue. Don't look at me, right? I only worry about point of delivery, most remote outlet, and that ain't the meter set for sure. So, I ain't the one to tell you. Check with the utility. Question nine. Wow, this question, this question, I remember on the last, the most recent exam, I, I took mine in uh, just this October. Uh, this question here, showed up twice and it was just worded a little differently but it showed up twice in the exam so it shows you it's not easy to make an exam like this you know speaking of making an exam um in uh, when i'm making practice exams for guys you know they're trying to review they're trying to study i'll make exams that try to uh, that actually have actual questions based on the exams that are as close as possible to as I can remember the exams. Sometimes I make exams that are purely my questions. Uh, purely, I just want to uh, have some, you know, have you work on a particular thing so that I know it's in your head or that you're aware that you got to look at this part or not ignore this. Um, I usually try to make the exams just a little harder than the actual exam. Better you go in there a little more prepared than underprepared. I mean, it's a common thing, you know, when you're 
your coach, your coach is not going to, he's not going to drill you with things that are easier in the game. He's going to drill you to be tougher than the game. So the game is nothing. I find, and this once again goes to getting to the headset of the test maker, it's not easy making a test. You would think, okay, I'm just going to ask a question and put a couple answers. Okay, some things are not that easy. They're not such an obvious question. It's an important piece of information, but how do you phrase it? And two, okay, so now they got to get the right answer. So I put down the right answer, and now i got to get three fake answers. Not that easy, okay? And I notice that you start falling into certain rhythms and patterns for the answers, for the questions. As we go on, I'll start explaining more and more. But there are limitations, there are obstacles to the test maker that you can use against them. You can turn the... You can turn the environment against the test maker. Um, I'll give you one right now. You hit a question. You don't know. You're not sure of the answer. You don't know the answer to. Okay. But this test is 50 questions. Uh, civil service, skill trades exams are usually 80 questions. And then after that, you can have uh, exams for administrative positions. That's 100 questions. You know, that's a lot of questions. I have found, and this is even when I know this, and I'm trying to avoid this because I want the test to be hard. I don't want to give you anything too easy. I find that it's almost impossible to write an entire test without somehow, some way, including some little piece of information in one question that will somehow, some way, allow you to figure out the answer to another question. It's almost impossible. It's almost like you, it, I'm giving you a freebie if you know that such a thing exists and you know to be patient and you know when you see it, what it is, and then you take that to the question that was giving you trouble. And now you got two right answers. Okay? So, uh, just one of the many things that as you keep going through this, you're going to get better and better because, you know, it's like playing poker. All right? Poker is a game of chance, eh, I guess 52 cards, uh, almost an infinite amount of variations and the odds are drawing like, you know, you know, uh, hands that just will beat everybody. Uh, sure, <laughs> that's uh, the odds of that very high, game of chance. And no, no, poker is not a game of chance. Uh, let's see, craps is a game of chance. Roulette is a game of chance, okay. Uh, Baccarat, I think, is a game of chance. Poker, no, because, sure, chance decides what you're going to, once again, we're assuming these are all legitimate games, all right? You want to cheat? Sure, there's a million ways to cheat. We're going to assume it's a, le a legitimate game. Sure, chance, that determines the hand you're going to get. That determines the card you're going to get. That determines nothing else involved what your chances are. Uh, chance does not determine how you are going to use your brain, your experience, your uh, knowledge of human psychology, and your ability to um, manipulate other individuals into throwing away what was a winning hand or caving in to the crappiest fucking hand possible. But hey, no one, no one can see your cards, okay? They got, they got to bet. Are they, they going to bet or are they, they going to fold? You know? So, no. Chances in everything. Okay? Uh, poker, I would say tests are the same way. Are you, uh, are you just going to um, take it for granted that the test maker is the all-knowing, all-powerful god of this environment that he's created? Or are you going to realize that he's just another human being and that, you know, we all work in the same crappy ass world and we don't want to do any more than we have to. And that's going to show in the final product. And well, together you and me are going to figure out ways to work this to our advantage. All right. So, like I said, this next question showed up twice, different, worded differently. So this guy was in a hurry to get out of, uh, he was either in a hurry to uh, get out of work as soon as possible. So he just threw another question in there or... Is it possible that there is a bank of questions, say maybe uh, 400 total questions, and then they have a random engine 
which is a joke in computer talk because computers hate random. Computers do random very, very badly. Okay, humans are much better at creating randomness than a computer is, but we have, we say a computer, uh, we put it on a random engine and have it churn out from the 400 questions, a random 50 question test doesn't, it's not that random. So that could also be a possibility, all right? That, like I said, they're only working with a limited amount of questions. They're allowing the computer to randomly pick them. You know, just like you have a computer pick your, uh, your lottery numbers. I don't know why you would, you, you, the chances are astronomical you're gonna win anyway. Why the hell would you let something else have a hand in fate? I mean, it's your fate. It should have your hand on it, right? But yeah, a um, lot of things we could infer from this. And well, if you know the answer to this question, you know the answer to the other question that's exactly the same as this question except for different words. So what is this question? Question nine, where a single meter is used to supply gas to more than one building or tenant, a separate shutoff valve shall be provided for each building or tenant. Okay, so you got several customers, okay, uh, more than one building. Well, we could be, um, we could be, let's say, in an apartment complex. So each, par uh, each uh, apartment building within the complex, somewhere in the curb, in the street, you got to be able to shut down that building. And that building will not shut down the next building. Each building will be shut down by itself. Within the building itself, we have several tenants. And each one is gonna, um, is gonna have gas. Well, we need to be able to uh, shut down the gas for that. Um, in this case, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we could have several meters or we could be referring to tenants in like a, a mall. Each, uh, each storefront, if they have gas, like in the food court, each one gets their own meter. Okay, so. In that case, uh, sorry, not their own meter. Um, they're all working off one meter, and but off of that one meter, each one gets their own shutoff valve. So one tenant doesn't affect the other tenant. One building doesn't affect the other building. So one meter supplying more than one building tenant. Each building, each tenant has a shutoff valve. Question 10. Oh, here we go with another uh, gas piping test. Ah, that's what I didn't cover in this table. So we're going to cover it now. Question 10. Coated and wrapped gas piping shall be tested with no less than 90 PSI. Straight off the bat. So what are we talking about coated and wrapped piping? And I'm going to turn back to the back cover because we talked about meter piping and I happen to skip coated and wrapped piping. Coated and wrapped pipe. Coated and wrapped pipe you will most often see when they're running services to a building or in the street and they are not using PE pipe. PE pipe, polyethylene pipe. If you walk around uh, New York enough, you'll see that uh, the utility has hired private contractors um, they're replacing the old mains with new yellow pipe. That yellow pipe is polyethylene. You'll see that they have uh, a guillotine cutter. They crank down on the cutter. It slices the piping beautifully, nice and plumb. And then uh, the ends get shaved to make an even better uh, uh, connection. And then uh, they're brought together. A heat plate goes in the middle. It heats the two ends. The plate comes up. The machine presses them together, you get a little bead, and it's actually heat welded together, heat fused. That's your gas piping now in the streets. The plastic has the advantage, well, plastic lasts forever. You know, this whole green thing, oh, aren't you concerned about the environment? Well, you know what, the, the, sure, plastic never corrodes. That could be a bad thing. In the case of piping in the street, that's a good thing. We know it's not going to rust out, leak, explode. Two. The gas piping can bear up to stresses in the soil. You know, we could, talk, we could even talk about an earthquake. It stands a better chance of not rupturing in situations like that than, say, a rigid metallic pipe. So, that's what, not what they're talking about here. What they're talking about here is you have a piece of steel pipe 
And this piece of steel pipe is coated in tar and then wrapped in a yellow plastic covering. Okay? This piping, you're going to put it in the ground, it's going to withstand corrosion. But whenever you have this kind of piping, their greatest fear is you can test it, but they're worried that any flaws in the pipe are not going to be visible because the tar and the plastic coating are keeping you from seeing them. But they found if you pump it up to 90, all oh, you'll see. Them. And if you don't see any leaks, good. It passes. So coated and wrapped gas piping must be tested at at least 90 PSI. I'll just read the, uh, um, in the table here. Coated and wrapped pipe, no less than 90 PSI. Air or inert gas, okay? So what does that mean? Don't test with oxygen. Oxygen, although not flammable, is an oxidizer. Anything that burns, burns even better when you put oxygen to it. So if you want to avoid any chance of fire, don't have oxygen nearby. Maybe you'll still have a fire, but the oxygen is just going to make a bad situation much, much worse. No oxygen for testing. It's actually a question on the test. Okay, air, inert gas. What's an inert gas? Nitrogen. Nitrogen's an inert gas. Yeah. What's not an inert gas? Probably the most dangerous non-inert gas, uh, hydrogen. Okay, that stuff blows up like you wouldn't believe. Hydrogen. Don't use hydrogen either. Extremely flammable gas, extremely volatile gas. Okay. Um, source of pressure isolated prior to readings. Okay, let's say however you're pumping your air or inner gas into the coated or wrapped pipe, you're gonna shut the valve off and you're gonna take that hose off and you know, that's it. The pipe stands by itself, okay? The and, well, kind of obvious, the inspector does, wants to make sure that when he turns his back and is walking down the pipe, you don't accidentally just crank a little bit on the pump to, you know, bring it up a little bit. No, pump's disconnected, okay? All readings made after stabilization of medium, what does that mean? We're using air or inert gas. You have a car, you fill your tires, your tires are filled to what they should be filled to, okay? But they look a little flat. Sometimes, you know, you go out one day on the driveway, they look a little flat, but you check and that's the right pressure. And then other days, they look perfect. They look nice and plump. They're ready to go. Same pressure. Why is that? Heat. Heat and cold will affect air. It will cause it to contract or expand a little bit. The inspector knows that. The inspector knows that that can throw off a test reading. So, if it's a little cold, uh, if it's a little hot, if, if there's high, you know, there's a high atmospheric pressure, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you pump it, and then you let it sit a while. Wait until that needle stays where it's going to stay, and it doesn't go down, it doesn't go up. Then you start reading it. Then you start testing. Okay, and this is another important one. This is definitely a question on the exam. You may use fresh water for pressures over 100 PSI. Let's say you're testing this pipe and you know over 100 PSI, that is kind of a lot. You can use water, okay? If you're using an air compressor to get 100 PSI, well, the air compressor has to do what? It has to compress the air. So you need more air, it's bringing more air, it's squeezing it, getting that pressure higher and higher and higher. A lot of air, a lot of work. It's a lot easier to use water. Water in its liquid state cannot, it, 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 you can't compress it anymore. You can't squeeze water into something smaller than what it already is. Okay? The container the water is in will break before the water can be compressed any further. All right? Um, just to show you how powerful water is, since we are plumbers, so Water is uh, something we should be very familiar with. Science has yet to create a container to compress water to such a point that the container doesn't break. They've tried filling cannonballs with water and tried to freeze it to, to ungodly 
temperatures, the cannibal bricks, okay? You see, when you fill your ice tray, you put it in the freezer and you bring it out and the ice expanded a little bit. That's because the water had no more. It can't be squeezed anymore. Everything else you freeze contracts, you know? You run out in the water on a cold day, you come back, you got shrinkage, right? Cold shrink stuff, not water. You try to freeze water, it expands. You cannot compress water. So you can fill the pipe with water and you really don't need that much to get a pressure, okay? So water makes life easier at pressures over 100 PSI. 12, we're gonna go back to page, uh, where were we? Oh, I'm sorry, I've been, have I been on? Yeah, I'm on test two. All right, sorry about that. It's not page 12. We have been on page 12, so you can go back. Eventually, you got to know all these questions, so, but, my bad. Page one, all right. It's page four. So, all right, and, uh, yeah, no questions about test pressures. So, guess what? Just like, just like we uh, did the purging table at the very beginning, which is a hard table, well, we also tackle test pressures, which is a big table. So you are really, uh, you're really going above and beyond on this one. So I'm going to take it as a good omen. And page four, and let's do the questions we should have been doing since we want to stay in order. Test one. Question four. Digital gauges used for gas tests shall have a minimum reading of one one hundredth of a PSI. Okay, this question here is easy enough to throw you if you read too fast because it's there are standards for just your regular old gauges, which you do need to know. They will ask, but here it asks for digital gauges. And what are they talking about? Well, a digital gauge, a digital gauge is going to be like anything else digital there's no dial anymore that's an analog gauge a digital gauge will look something like this okay and it's just going to have your screen and your little dots okay and it's going to have your pressure so let's say this digital gauge we're going to be using for we want to get a test pressure of 3 PSI, right? We're testing a basic uh, half PSI max system. So we're going to go with 3 PSI, right? So we got our 3 pounds, right? Now, we know with decimals that this is the tenths. This is the tenths uh, space. So let's say we got, um, I would say, uh, a 1. We got 3.1 and then the next spot is the hundredths. This spot here is going to be our hundredths. And let's say we got 3.15. So at the very least, you can get digital gauges that can have much longer runs on this side of the decimal point. At the very least, this gauge has got to give you a one one hundredth reading. That's what we're talking about. A hundredth, two spaces. This is the reading that can change. All right. There's a lot of controversy on you know, uh, on a digital gauge, what is a steady pressure? What is a pressure that drops? Okay. On an analog gauge. Okay. Let's say we got a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, once again, we're testing with half a PSI. So we're going to use a five PSI gauge for a three PSI test for a half PSI max system. We got three. We pumped it up at three, and that's the test for 30 minutes. Aren't you glad we actually went through that tables because now this is not weird to you, right? This is not foreign to you. Going to have three PSI on a five PSI analog gauge holding for 30 minutes. The line, that line, which has a thickness, you know, that line and the point of that needle is going to stay together 
It's not going to drop past that line. The inspector sees this thing. You know, we start off with the little tick mark and the needle, but now the inspector sees it just fell just ever so slightly. Doesn't matter. That's a fail. Okay. So how do we do this on a digital gauge though? Because I can read three the whole time. Three is three. Three is three is three is three. On a digital gauge, he wants at least one one hundredth because on a digital gauge, it's very sensitive. It's pretty awesome. It also can be a, it also can bite you a little bit. This number here is the number that's going to keep fluctuating. You'll have 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.00, 3.01, 3.02, 3.03, 3.04, 3.05, 3.06, 3.07, 3.08, 3.09, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.39, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.39, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.39, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46,
All of this, just so that we know what we're talking about, because the question 